Hello, welcome to another Unity tutorial with me, Romy Fauzi, and this is another update for our previous tutorial called Underwater Effects, and we are trying to recreate those effects in the latest Unity uh, 2019, and in order to do that, uh, we need to first import a couple of packages, so let's just uh, go to the package manager, and then make sure uh, we've import the post-processing, so in order to make this uh, shown, make sure under advanced options, press the show preview packages and you'll see the post processing. And if it's if there's too many of it, just type post and it will filter those out and then just install this. And I've already installed it, so it's shown a different button over here. So basically, this is what we need to create this effect and the rest, uh, I've import the standard assets from the asset store so just go to the asset store and then type standard assets and you can import this once you have import this uh, we will have a couple items here so uh, and then I've created a terrain with a trees and a water over here as you can see and uh, now we need to set up a uh, couple of things to make the effect uh, the underwater effect so let's just create a new empty game object and let's just call this uh, water area and now we want to create a box collider and set this to a trigger and we want to set the layer to post processing and if you don't have this, just press add layer and then type post processing uh, onto the custom layer, the first custom layer, and then set the, the object to the post processing. And here, uh, my camera is under the FPS controller and you can get the FPS controller from the standard asset. So under characters, under the first person character, under prefabs, we have this FPS controller. Just drag this to our scene and we will have this object and under the child of the FPS control, we have the first person character and it has the camera. And for the camera here, we need to add the post processing layer. I'm going to delete this component here and let's just add a new one and just type a uh, layer and it will filter out the post process, uh, post process layer Add this. And now make sure the layer is set to post processing. So it will react to the object that we set up as the water area over here. And now uh, we already set up the camera, go to the water area, and I'm going to set the size of our collider here. First, I'm going to set the Z position 500, so it lies in the middle of our terrain here. And for the size of our box collider, let's set the X size to around 200 and the Z size to around 1000 should be enough. And it will cover the area here. And I'm going to increase the X to 500 so it covers the water area on the edge here. And now we want to go to the side view here. Oh, sorry, not the isometric perspective here. And let's just select the water. And here, as you can see, the water is set to zero uh, to four on its position. And here is on zero. So this is uh, it's four on the y-axis uh, relative to the world. So let's just select the water area again. And then I'm going to set this uh, y value to four so it will align with our water and here the y values on our size collider i want to set this to 10 so we have a quite tall area and it will cover all of the underwater area and to make the position the top of the collider align to our water let's just shift this by half of this value here so let's just set this to negative 5 and this should make the top 
area of our collider aligned with the uh, with the water object. So now we need to add a post processing volume, and once we add this volume, it will render the area the trigger to a semi transparent green color. And let's just create a new post -pro uh, post process profile, and this file will be saved inside the FX scenes profile and this is automatically created by the post process volume this folder here so let's just add effect here but in order to test this out we can just press play and then uh, once the game is running we can just go to the inside of the water here and then press escape and then start adding effect under our post processing volume component so let's just add effect and i'm going to add a color grading and set the tone mapping to aces and enable the high definition range and then i'm going to enable the lift here the color wheel the gamma and the gain and set more uh, all of this color here to uh, slightly bluish so drag this middle circle to the blue area over here and you'll see that our scene changed the color and the other thing i want to add is the depth of field i'm sorry not component but add effect unity and choose depth of field and i want to make uh, a blurry uh, scene inside the water so let's just enable all of these properties here and set the max blur size to a very large and set the focus distance to zero and this will make sure all of the objects or the, the camera our camera is blurry and we can just set the aperture also to a very low value and now if we try to go outside of our water you see it changed to normal our uh, post processing and it, we, if we go back to the water it will change to the color the post processing that we've just created and the nice thing with this post process even though we change this value on runtime, if we press stop, this will get saved because this is basically a scriptable object, an asset. So uh, it doesn't matter if we change the value on runtime, it still gets saved. So now I have the water effect uh, working. And one thing you need to make sure is uh, using this uh, post-processing stack, make sure that our color spaces are set to linear and in order to access those settings just open the build settings uh, window under player settings and here under the other settings of our player settings we have color space option and change this to linear usually by default it sets to gamma so set this to linear and uh, another thing that we want to do is uh, we want to try to create here I've set up a couple of things on the scene here previously, so I'm going to enable this fire complex object, and this is basically a particle. As you can see, it's a particle. If I press play, you see a fire, so it's like a, the forest is on fire, and I've already set up a fire area. And how to set up this uh, area is the same as our weather area, but with a different uh, color correct profile. So let's just remove this uh, and it's only used the color grading and also the bloom uh, effect. And here, as you can see, the box has two box. The one is the smaller one and the second one is a bigger one. And this will tra uh, create transition. Whenever the player enter this area here, it will start transitioning to this color correct profile. So the changes will be smooth and now i've used the color grading also uh, with the mode aces and in order to change the blend uh, the transition just set the blend distance under the post processing volume to a, a some value that you want for example i'm going to increase this to five and you see the bounding box the outer bounding box change size so make sure the layer sets to post processing and the trigger is enabled and now if i press play here you see that if I enter the the fire area our post processing will change there you go but you see the sudden changes 
from our previous normal scene uh, color to the, the flame area and that is because we are using the ACES mode and whenever we leave this area here this gets disabled so this is a toggle so we cannot interpolate its value in order to fix this I just create the base color correct object and this one we don't need a uh, box collider because it sets to global so it's global it's going to apply this color uh, this color correct profile to the whole scene as you can see check this box to mark this volume as global this volume profile will be applied to whole scene and with this uh, base CC I've added the color grading and I set the mode to high definition range also and the mode to ACES also and I leave the, uh, the other settings to the default settings I don't change it so now I'm going to save the scene here and now if I press play you see we will have a smooth transition from the normal area to the fire area so if I start to go to this fire here you'll see the transition will be very smooth as you can see now it's quite reddish for the flame uh, the fire area the forest on fire and if we leave this area here it will go back to the normal color so with the new process post-processing stack we don't need to create a script to create uh, changes for the color correct uh, profile just use this volume here and we can set this volume to affect only the box collider and just make sure we set this to the correct layer for all of the color correct uh, objects and make sure under the camera the layer sets to post-processing here under the post-process layer so I hope you like uh, this tutorial and find it useful. And if you like it, please uh, hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.